bow before you, ancient of the day, there and night, O Lord, a mortal redeemer, that we, your children, O Lord God Jehovah, will never bow down to stone to idols of any kind, O Lord God Jehovah, that we will never worship any kind of idol of any kind. We will never bow down to any kind of demonic powers, neither shall we worship them, O Lord God Jehovah, only you, Ekekeroa, Chuku Okikabiyama, shall we glorify, shall we praise, shall we adore, all the days of our life, O oh Lord, God Jehovah, we ask you to accept this praise, accept this glory, to the glory of your name. As we lift your servant, our leader, Mazen Namdekan, we continue to pray, Jehovah Jireh, Immortal Redeemer, Abba Father, that you will frustrate the plans of the wicked, O oh Lord, God Jehovah, you will frustrate their evil plan, my Lord and my God, however they are operating, frustrate and expose them, O oh Lord. The Bible says you catch the wise in their craftiness, and the advice of the cunning are quickly thwarted. Jehovah, may you thwart their evil plan to the glory of your name. Blessed Redeemer, I give you praise. Blessed Redeemer, I adore thee. Blessed Redeemer, I glorify your name, O Lord God Jehovah. As we continue to pray for your servant, O Lord, we say that you are his shepherd, he shall not want. You make him, him you make him lie down in green pasture, you lace him beside quiet water, you restore his soul, you guide him in part of righteousness for your name's sake. That even though he walks through the valley of shadow of death, he fears no evil for you are with him, your rod and your staff. They comfort him, you prepare table before him in the presence of his enemy. You anointed his head with oil, his cup run it over for surely your goodness and mercy will follow him all the days of his life, and he will dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever and ever, Abba Father, who oh bless your holy name, O oh Lord, will give you praise. Be thou exalted, Jehovah Jireh. We commit the Eastern Security Network. We we'll pray that you protect, you safeguard, you guide, you direct, O oh Lord, your people to the glory of your name. Jehovah Nancy, you use them immensely, O oh Lord God Jehovah. They will defeat our enemy from time to time, O oh Lord God Jehovah. They will defend our land. They will protect us, O oh Lord God Jehovah. Ah, but Father, you use ESN to the stand, O oh Lord God Jehovah. They will become the pride of the Eastern region to the glory of your name. Blessed Redeemer, Abba Father, we give you praise, we give you glory. Be thou exalted, immortal Redeemer. Take glory, Almighty God. Take glory, Jehovah Nancy. Blessed be your holy name. My Lord and my God, my Father, my Maker, I will pray for the DOS, O Lord. May you continue to strengthen them. Be with them, help them, O Lord. Father, I pray that your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding will never lack in them, O Lord God Jehovah. May it be new every morning. May they wear it like clothes, Abba Father, to overcome every traps of the enemy, every plans of the enemy against them. Whatever is the secret plans of the enemy to infiltrate, to penetrate. Father, give them the wisdom to locate and overcome it, O Lord. Jehovah Jireh, I lift your people, I pray all over the world. We continue to pray, my Lord and my God. We give you praise, we worship you, Lord. Asking you for your mercy upon your people. Asking you for your mercy upon your people, O oh Lord God, my Father, my Maker. Have mercy upon your people all over the world, O oh Lord. Show us kindness. Show us love, O oh Lord. I pray for protection of everyone. I pray for pray for provision of everyone, O oh Lord God Jehovah, that is walking assiduously. Jehovah Nancy, Abba Father, restore hope to the hopeless, O oh Lord. Restore hope, O oh Lord, Abba Father, those that are genuinely fighting for this struggle, O oh Lord God Jehovah, wherever they are, but facing one hardship or the other, passing through difficult times, O oh Lord, in sickness, in pain, in all manner of life that they are finding it very difficult ancient of ancient you are that god that delivered me you will deliver our people protect and guide them O lord god jehovah give them O lord what they want to lord god jehovah may your angel visit them father to the glory of your name i continue to praise you i continue to give you glory because you are my god Abba Father, those in prison, we pray for prison gate to be open. Your children are languishing in jail because we don't have home. Heavenly Father, we pray for the sick, O oh Lord. All manner of diseases are in our bodies these days. 
as a result of unclean food in disobedient to your laws and commandments. Uh, but Father Jehovah will plead for mercy, asking you for healing, so Lord, that you will heal us and take away this sickness in our body. Jehovah Jireh, Abba Father, we pray that those that are down in sickness, that you will heal them. Those in hospital, may they respond. Those in need of money for treatment, for surgery, Lord God, Jehovah, we pray, Abba Father. You are that God that make it things available. Let there be miracle money. Send somebody from somewhere to assist to pay their hospital bills. Let them be able to treat it and be free to the glory of your name. Blessed Redeemer, Abba Father, will leave the widows, the poor, the orphans. Father, will leave them before you, O oh Lord. We pray, immortal Redeemer, my Father, my Maker. You are the God that created everything, O oh Lord. You fed the ants. You fed every beast in the field, in the forest. You fed everything you created. You provide for them how much more human you created in your own image and likeness, O oh Lord. Despite the hardship, despite the man-made hardship, Lord, make a way for these people, for these orphans, for these privil less privileged ones, for these uh, widows, O oh Lord. Make a way, O oh Lord God, Jehovah. Open the eyes of those who have touched their mind, O oh Lord. Let them support them to the glory of your name. Blessed Redeemer, I give you praise. We worship you, Lord. We adore thee. We give you praise, O Lord God, immortal Redeemer. My Lord and my God, Abba Father, Jehovah Nancy, we bless your holy name. We thank you for everything, O Lord God, Jehovah. As we continue to pray for our land, Father, we pray that the sacred land of Biafra will be cleansed completely. We pray that this evil, these demons will go down. We pray that those who walk with it will also go down. We pray that the land will be cleansed completely. That freedom will come. Your children will assemble in our home on Sabbath and we'll give you praise, blessing your holy name, because there is none like thee. Take glory, Almighty God. Take glory, Abba Father. Take glory, ancient of the day. Be thou exalted. Abba Father Jehovah, my Lord and my God. We we'll make this prayer in the beautiful name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Great dear friends, we must continue to press on and we are there. We must. There is no two ways about it. The hard way is the only way. But on the process, we must make sure that the evil doers in our midst have been removed, have been taken away. We must not pity for the enemies of the children of God. It doesn't matter how big or rich these people are. We must not, we must not treat them with gl kid gloves. Each time this thing comes as, um, it always comes to me uh, as a leading and it will come with emotional tie. When I sat down and think who, how Mazin Namdekan was betrayed, 
and I calculate the people that betrayed them, Igbo people, and I check what we are passing through before, even till now, and uh, I just calculate the brain of the people that did this thing. I don't get myself. That is why I don't like it to come up. But, you know, uh, uh, what do you call these feelings in, in human body? Like instinct that will suddenly pop out. You try to hold it. I, when it comes in this way, I find it very, very difficult to hold it, honestly. I will find it very difficult to hold it. Seeing the level of the stupidity in us. Seeing how stupid our people are. Who and who committed this, this atrocity? What is in their mind? Have they achieved their aim? That is why there is no need talking of mercy for this one, uh, better men, all those kind of things. Or listening to them or dining with them. When it comes to my own conclusion, I, 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 don't, I don't think of having pity on these people. What is the sin of Mazin Namdekano initially that will prompt you to do that? Both the politicians, everybody that are involved in this, even till now, those who are still playing the game till now, an able man, my question is always be, what have you gained? What is the gain? Our land is not peaceful. You, we are the governors and the senators and ministers and whatever in our land. No good route. Even, the, even if Fulani are cheating us, taking the resources in Igbo land, but there are monthly, uh, this thing they are giving to every state. What have we done with it? Nothing. Still on the process the people want to rise. It is still the same way that rise up to destroy ourselves. Brother, there is no two ways about this thing if not to, to continue to destroy all these people. When I think things, before I say, I will calculate things left and right. It's, it, will be, it will take me time to speak that thing. But when I tell you that thing, that is the, that is the only way. You see these criminals, those who are involved in betraying Mazin Namdekano, there is no need, there is no pity, there is no sorry. Also, I am with you, also, I am your brother, so I am your father, whoever is supposed to die. Any man or woman that are involved in this betrayal, it doesn't matter where you reside, it doesn't matter who you are, you need to die. If you are listening or you listen later, I'm still telling you, you need to die. It's better you go and commit suicide than to say you have been apprehended. There, it shouldn't, there is nothing like forgiveness. What is the sin of this man? What has he done? Do you think that there are good roads, good market, uh, fire service, uh, pipe bond waters, good schools, and Mazin Namdekan comes on radio then and be talking and shouting? And do you think that our people, do you think we'll pay attention? We will not pay attention to him because things are okay. Just for example, now go to a place like Germany now and you begin to talk of poverty. Say, let's divide Germany into two, Eastern Germany and Western Germany as it was before. I don't think anybody will pay attention to you. I don't think because life is okay for them. I don't think. But on our own, if anything you bring up now as an agitation, whether through religion, whatever, people will pay attention because the pain is there. If you don't want that thing to be, you solve the problem. If they don't want it to be, solve the problem. But have they solved? No. Nigeria is not ready to solve it. But the worst part of it is the Igbo people. The worst part of it is our political leaders. When I'm talking of Igbos, I'm talking of our leaders. They are fully involved in what happens to Mazin Namdekano. They are still involved in the delay for his unconditional release. We have ears. We have eyes. We have contacts. We connect and contact. We know things. They are still deeply involved in it. 
and tomorrow you will still be partying and dining with these people and you said that things gadima bia fraya bia aye men ka aye men kozo whereby you see the the the, the bottle you see the, the 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 sharp object that chipped you you have not removed it it's still there and you say no problem everything is so it will still choke you again until you remove it if you don't remove that thorn in the flesh it will continue to hurt you and that is the level we are our problem continue to be the same people those who claim that they're on top the political criminals they are involved in all the problem you as an evil man is passing through the thing is that you are just stupid you cannot reason you cannot connect things and understand emotion everywhere most of the time and inability to process things division among us political class are the major problem Igbo man is facing the reason why nigeria is corrupt but when you see the pain most is on us because of our own political class they don't think of us at all no remedy no mercy in the west in the north somehow no matter how corrupt they are they will allow at least they let, they, let let me use the word of uh, Escobar. They somehow they will let their poor to breed. Somehow they will let the poor to breed. Somehow, if you move within the north, you see some good roads. Those those roads were constructed by the government. If you move within the north, you will not see a police checkpoint from post to post government did it despite the high rate of insecurity in the northern zoological republic move to the western zoological republic the same thing but if you come to our region it is the worst the worst road insecurity is here police extortion everything times two and we have leaders and tomorrow you want me want chineke I am the one who I, I examine myself. I examine myself. I tell myself the truth. I don't need anybody to tell me whether I'm good or bad. I am okay with what my conscience tells me. So I believe I'm good to my own level. So tomorrow you want me to come and praise an evil man. For what reason? Want me to praise an occultic man. For what reason? Let him hold his whatever there. But when it comes to collective interest, Igbo general, they must die. Politicians in Igbo land, in Igbo land must die. There's no two ways about it. It is not church or pastor or Bible or DBA will fix because it is those in power who will make things work. They will enact the law. We have lived in different countries. We, you don't need even need to leave travel from where you are google the things check read things online it is the man in power sitting in power need to put things in order it is not like that in our land our land is vice versa they will even import militia to be killing us some part of our land you can go our enemies are security to rush they are killing us politicians must die the revolution must come. Igbo politicians must die. Kamne kuku ya ne kushi ike. Elai kreya, elai kreya does cannot change the fact. Because the date will come. It be ti kushi eburi shiguti ye dee. You see our political leaders, they will die. Number one problem of Igbo land is the political criminals. Cure ED. And it's only cutting off their head will begin to reduce the rates of the injustice the evil they are maiming on us <clears throat> i tell you the truth very very important you may agree with me but you may not agree with me but the pain on everyone is what will spring out the revolution one day 
You see all this bribe, they are bribing some of you. They'll give you money. You eat. You a time will come, it will turn also. Nothing will save them. Nothing will save Igbo political criminal. I'm telling you this. With the here and telling me here, I know things that are happening. My meeting can happen in the secret. Everything we hear it. We may not say it. But let them have it in mind. As long as it's under the sun. No kuranyongwa. One day she hagada. Nagwagia. It doesn't matter. Forget about the title, the level of the money, the occultic group he belongs to. The old world of Raya go, go everywhere. So, why you want to go in and on one? One time is coming. I feel in the Igbo political criminals. He should not go down and name more about what you make and I won here. Here today is 9th of August 2023. You people will die one day. It's coming. Continue. I have searched this thing. What 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 is what is the scene of Mazin Namdekano specifically against Igbo people? Let's not take it to Nigeria. Can you tell me what is the scene against Igbo? Can you hear me? Mejon Dibo. Can you hear Mazin Namdekano Megoro no Mowokuru Moaparamagwa Oparo? What has he done against Igbo people? But it was Igbo people. That rise up, take it as a contract. Now, Gary can go leave this time to put him where he is. Can you stay in your house, just in your house that is well decorated? Everything is there. You can even communicate with people, but you just locked out in a big house, your own house now. Can you stay there just for one week? Just for one week. With internet, you have, you can make call. Talk less of keeping somebody in solitary confinement till now. And some people are still behind it, behind the bar, pressing the button for him not to be released. Even the people you talk to to hold him do come to us and tell us the truth. You can't call, you cannot cover evil under the sun. We know you people. I am a chon one after the other. <laughs> and if we are ego cannot save you, time will come. Things will change. On your body care for a mad nogan on 2023 election. He will never agree. You never believe it. He will never things will turn. You may it may not be your, something will rise up. Is it no Western world now that owns this world before? They are they, 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 they are they, they are this is shaking in Africa. It will not be in that way continuously. But I'm saying this thing to prepare the mind of the young ones that will carry out this action. Just be prepared. Because with the day it will come, none of them will go scot-free. Enough to this nonsense. This is Radio Biafra also service to coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London. Under the leadership of one and only Oyendu, Mazi Namdekano Ohamadike, one of Biafra land. Mazin Namdi Khan is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He is the director of Radio Biafra and her television, the commander of the armies of Biafra and the greatest men living on this planet. And this broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Most High, a servant of the indigenous people of Biafra, the firstborn of Mazin Namdi Khan, and a proud disciple of our leading, the person of Mwa Chineke. Let's go to the news we have for the day. Um, this one says, Nigerian man jump into lagos lagoon from lake ikoi link bridge it will continue depression is there depression is there a lot of all this suicide because no hope there is nothing will change nigeria is not going to don't be surprised this man now that jumping could be a yoruba man who shouted um, um uh, uh, what's that uh, language uh, milekon or whatever a uh, milekon or whatever Maybe he's part of the people that say that we are chanting it, and maybe some money have been given to him, or he could be a big man who supported the government somehow. But maybe one contract has failed him and is into debt. Depression will continue in the zoological republic. What you are not known for suicide, committing suicide before, before is mainly known for the people in the western world. Depression will just hold them like in Australia, some other part of the world. You just see them they, in China. They will, they will play gambling with their money, finish. Just see them, they throw themselves out from condominium. And that is the end. 
That is the end. We know all these things with them. But this time, hunger, hunger, hardship will push it into you. Depression will increase. Frustration will increase to the, increase to the highest level. That is why you need an option. You need to know how to readjust. It may not come to you now, but it will come if you don't fix yourself very well. Because more people will be dying. No, nothing. Tell me what plan to fix Nigeria. What plan? Is what we are doing is the only rem remedy. You can console yourself. I can console myself for the coming of Biafra. But I can never console myself that Nigeria will be good. I cannot. So it's better you join us. There is hope in this one. A man whose identity has yet to be revealed on Tuesday jumped into Lagos Lagoon from Lake Koi Link Bridge, according to the nation. This was confirmed by the eye by an eyewitness who passed through the route. Concerned locals have gathered at the scene to see if they might be able to rescue the man as they have reported. How can you rescue him? Somebody who cannot swim and he just threw himself into the water. Waiting some few minutes, he will just drown. That is frustration and depression. It will link you into this den with the negative energy hovering all over. All these demonic activities, satanic activities now, bringing negative energy down. It's very easy for you to accept nonsense and believe in it. So it will just encourage you. That, that negative energy will come into you with the, with the high depression and tell you, just take away your life. Take away your life. What's the need? That is what you will be seeing. Because you invited it. Hmm. The official rescue squad... The official rescue squad has been notified. Meanwhile, the police have concord, had cordoned off the area. One of the eyewitnesses, Temi Tokwe, tweeted, Depression is real. Someone just jumped into Ikui Link Bridge. Water right in front of me. Not quite long. Hope he will not be lifeless before the rescue team arrives not to rescue somebody do the needful Nigeria is not good put put some things oh I'm having some static don't know where it's coming from all right hold on let me readjust all right it is only the time you fix things that things will work then hope will come you see some thousand things on ground let's say for example now apart from the the so-called dangote refinery that the local refineries are booming maybe you say by next year by january next year by february by march by whatever they will finish this refinery and it will start working at least it will reduce it will help to reduce we will just take our natural crude oil put it into the local refinery refine it uh, government will pay some amount of money to the company that are refining it so that the cost of refining and paying their salary will reduce that is what that is the only area we will say uh, uh, let there be a kind of subsidy then the price will be a bit lower and you also try to cover the border so that they will not be taking it out so that they can produce what you can use in the country. When you see all those things, that is what will give you hope. That is what will give you hope. You say, no, let me endure a bit. You are enduring endless pain. Endless pain. Coupled with the negative energy around, it will encourage you just to throw yourself into like. That is why you see, this one is that somebody saw him jumping. There are other people that have been jumping there. Nobody knows. The person just make up his mind and go and kill himself. The only thing that will save Nigeria is you pick up your AK-47, gone down these political criminals, gone them down. But it's now I don't see the possibility. Imagine, for example, now Yoruba people to come out and gone down uh, Jagaban Escobar. It, it will not work. Or let's say Igbo man to go and gone Osama down. We are, of course another 1966. Hmm? 
So it will not work. This is how the structure Nigeria put it in that in that concocted uh, um, uh, situation that you can't you you be fighting yourself, fighting yourself just like scraps in in uh, in, in the basket in the basin. You be fighting yourself, thinking you are you are doing something. Then your resources will be going off. The only thing that opens your eyes is the disintegration. The reason why all these francophone countries are doing what they are doing, they are more of something united them. One thing unite them is either they are more one, more of a tribe or one a, 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 one religion. You see that most of them are mostly Muslim countries. They can come together as one. That is why they are fighting the French. That is why they are fighting the French. But Nigeria cannot fight such external uh, uh, um, uh, 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 attacks. Nigeria cannot fight it. Because the division in us will be bringing some certain suggestion. Do this, do that. Even till now, Nigel is ready to fight, to combat Nigeria. Nigel is ready to combat Nigeria. They don't care. You cut off the electricity. Don't worry, they will get money and uh, build another dam. Then uh, Kainji Dam will dry off. Kainji Dam will dry off. Uh -huh. Or maybe after all, they have uh, uranium there. France is using it to, to power the electricity for decades now. They could get a company that will fix it for them and they'll forget about your, your Kainji. Depression is too much in Nigeria. The only solution is to fight the corrupt system. Fight the corrupt system. And fighting a corrupt system is not with uh, um, uh, Kid Globe. It must be head to head. That is the only option. That is the only option. SP Benjamin spokesman for the Lagos State Police Command confirmed the sad event saying our men are there controlling the crowd as other rescue team arrive. Nothing. Police themselves are also part of the problem. When a policeman will see you and extort you, open your phone, steal everything you have, and nothing will happen. You don't know what you have planted. That person may toil again throughout the year. He couldn't recover what the police has taken away from him. Problem increases. He could be one of the people you see one day that have jumped into lagoon and killed himself. So these are the things, these are the expectations you'll be seeing in the Zoological Republic. We're telling you the truth. Nothing good. There is nothing, forget about ministerial appointment this, that uh, Senate is screening, stop, um, um, what's, what's his name, uh, Rufai, the stop, um, Wike. All those things are just politics they are playing. They pass through, they pass through DSS. They came to a uh, Senate, they returned. What rubbish. No hope in Nigeria. There is no hope, no hope. I gave a bag of rice to a particular group, just one, a particular people, just one, not knowing the number of people that will be involved. Brother, when they sent me video, I saw how they were sharing this rice, one cup, two cup. Somebody like me, if you call me that there is um, a gift they give to us, let's go and share. If I reach there, it's like uh, four cups of rice or five. I'll just say, take it. I say, anybody, uh, for me, I would just say it's not relevant. I was just watching and everybody was so comfortable to take four cups of rice drink because there were many. I don't know. There were many. Hunger. Hunger. Things in those days you just reject. I remember growing as a child with my auntie then. If they are sharing such a thing, they will just say the person that when they are thick. Because the share will just be irrelevant for them. But people are still holding on it. No hope in Nigeria. That is the news. That is the st no hope. Nothing is working. You see, the, the, the game will be changing from level to level. From level to level, the game will be changing. When Buhari came, they were blaming PDP, PDP, PDP. They will do this, they will do that. Before you know it, COVID came. Everybody blamed COVID. COVID has come and gone. Other countries have recovered. 
after eight years nothing with our own eyes koro koro we saw the corruption that took place in the dead buhari's administration regime till today not one of not one of them have been probed to recover any money rather it's only innocent people innocent people that has no hand in the economic uh, uh, strangulation of the zoo it's the only people you see them arresting Maybe they say this one is Yahoo. I'm not uh, encouraging all those things. Is Yahoo boy? Uh, these people are drug. This, this, that. That is the thing you see. The EFCC will be arresting. DSF will be arresting or IPOP or IPOP people. Uh -huh, you just see what of these people that dried Nigerian um, uh, uh, finance. Those people Mefele has mentioned that he was. Why can't we? There is no hope in Nigeria. There is no hope. Stop deceiving yourself. There is no hope in Nigeria. Let nobody deceive you. No hope. If you cannot rise, then just prepare to jump into lagoon or commit suicide. Of anyhow, no hope. That is why if you come towards the east now, you see all manner of ritual. Ritual. Somebody will be telling you, you do this, you do this, you make money. You do this, people gotten mad, all those kind of rubbish. No hope. There is no hope in Nigeria. You zoological listening. There is no hope. You cannot. Uh, nothing is coming. It will be worse. It will be worse. Don't we expect any. The only miracle that will come is you take a gun. And begin to gun your people that are criminals in the office. You gun them down. That is the only hope. If you like sleep in the church from morning to night. Week to week, no way. If you like, go and do the whole rituals. Kill people, take their organ. Do this thing. Do a kit, whatever. No hope. If you like, pray in the mosque from morning till evening. No hope is coming. If you don't fight for it, you see nothing. I tell you the truth. Talk less of this one that... Um, uh, uh, the Western world now pushing Jagaban Escobar to go into war with Nigel. <laughs> we don't know what will come out of them. Let's take another news. This one said a uh, shuttle bus drivers in Anambra lament extortion, harassment by Taos despite paying taxes to government. That is the things we are seeing in Igbo land. When you are prominent, when you educated, you education in Igbo, educated person is a cost. A rich person is also a cost to their people. An influential people is a cost. Anything you see our people earn, it, the moment it comes to our land is a cost. Soludo is a professor. Some people are praising him that is building flyover and all those things. Me, I cannot praise him because that is the money and that is what's supposed to be done. If you come, you see the in every state you go, there must be architect of how to design the state. All you need is as a as an elected officer, you sit down, you can even take that of another government. How, what they plan, all those plans, you see, budget, whatever. You can pick one and follow it, construct this road, do this, do that. The only thing that changes in your government is the input. In knowledge you added maybe you say let's construct this road you say no if we construct this road government will not make a more uh, let's say um, a tow gate and all those things you not make more money but this gate this road now if we construct it it will boom the economy you now change to this one all those kind of thing you bring ideas for policy that will help the economy to grow that is uh, that is that somebody construct road build a class build this rubbish I want us to change our mindset. We want to be like Oyibo, but we don't check how they are building their own. In some offices in the Western world, even if there is no elected officer there, the, the normal construction will be going on. Things will be going on. But in our own land, it's rubbish. An educated person will be in the office and it will bring frustration. When Soludo was about to enter office, all his campaign is Aborogana, Aborogana, not knowing that it is opposite. Government of Soludo now is a government of Aboru because he believes in taxation and the only option he could put in getting tax, those taxes, is to contract it out. Soludo has contracted the taxation out. 
to some people. So tell this person, you've been in charge of motor park and this, that. I want how many million or billion every month? Then the person will say, okay, done. It's left for the person to go and recruit the same Alboro. He was campaigning and leash them out. Already the, the, the demon is in us to destroy our people. They will leash them out and their duty is to frustrate their own people to steal, to men. Not our enemy, the real enemy. No, our own people. What people are passing through in our nature, in terms of these thoughts, Aburo, only God will save us. I tell you, shuttle bus drivers in Anambra State have lamented that they are daily extorted and harassed by towers, popularly known as Aboros. The towers operate in cities across the state, despite claim by Governor Chukuma Soludo's administration that their operation had been banned. The government has also promised to raid the state of illegal tax collection. The drivers and the drivers said that they are being harassed and extorted on daily basis by illegal tax collectors. After these people have collected their own, these drivers will also shuttle the police. Remember the police are there, the militaries are there from post to post. Remember that fuel is expensive. Fuel is about 700 per liter. All this thing would descend on the head of an average man living in Igbo land. Why won't we be eating ourselves? Why wouldn't there be all manner of nonsense you'll be hearing on social media? Killing, stealing, whatever. Why? It is government that's supposed to calm human beings down. I always say it. Let's say now you are from Singapore, a Singaporean, or from a Taiwanese, or somebody from South Korea, and you have graduate, graduated. 21, 22, 23 years old. If you see the kind of car government, with the, let's say you have been employed, government will push a ve all this car you see big men are driving, all these people in government. You see a 21 year old Chinese boy, Chinese girl driving that car. Government know what they are doing. They will push that car. She, she, he or she has a credit card of about $10,000 in it. A house Bungalow, very pot is given to him at that age. Then the job is there. All he needs is to wake up in the morning, go to job. And as he enjoy that luxury, he will never try to be lazy or stupid for it to be removed, away removed from him. This is what government planned. In this case, you cannot hear crime. You wouldn't hear about this, that, all those things. Everybody's working to meet the end at the end of the day. Who planned it? Government, not church, not religion, not Islam, not Christianity, not Okite. Government planned it and it's working for them. And you cannot hear somebody rap somebody. It will take once in 10 years. In all these developed countries I, I mentioned to you, you will not hear such a thing. But in our own, Aburo will deal with you in on each other. Abro will deal with you in our nature, governed by a professor. A professor. And the same professor campaigned. He During his campaign, professor was campaigning heavily that he don't want tout. Today, tout are the vertebral bone of his, of his tax collectors in order to support his economy. This is... um. This is 8 a.m. in the sacred land of Biafra. It is 8 a.m. right now in case you are joining us. This is Radio Biafra, our service to coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Onyendu Mazi Namdekano Ohamadike, one of Biafra land. In case you are not aware, Mazi Namdekano is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He is the director of Radio Biafra and her television the commander of the army of Biafra and the greatest man living on this planet Earth. And this broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Most High, a servant of the indigenous people of Biafra, the firstborn of Mazi Namdekano, a proud disciple of our leader in the person of Nwachineke. We are coming to you live. 
from Radio Biafra London on this day, 9th of August 2023, analyzing news how Aburo, Aburo are do, sh doing shege to our people in Anambara State, a state governed presently by a professor. But Aburo are showing pepper. You still using the old method in wickedness, showing pepper to our people. And after the Aburos has finished their own, the police, the Al Shababs on uniform on the road will take their own. And these drivers as well will go and buy fuel at the rate of 700. At the end of the day, everything would descend on the head of every poor man, but a beggar. Then ask me, why wouldn't, why, why wouldn't be evil on the land? Why wouldn't be evil? Why people can not, will not be against their fellow people? At the end of all these things. Why? Nothing will stop it. It's normal. The driver said that they are being harassed and distorted on daily basis by illegal tax collectors. Meanwhile, in addition, the illegal con collection by staffs, tricycle riders, and bus drivers in the state are made to pay between 15,000 to 25,000 monthly to the state government. Wow, 15 to 25,000. They can they, they pay them. The bus driver, this is what they are given. Still, Aburo will eat. Because it's a contract. The contract, the big man whom he has contracted this job into, the moment he gathered that of the government, he will get his own. And remember, we are very greedy. Our people are very greedy. Any position, that is that is one thing. I remember in those days in the in the business selling spare parts. Mechanic will come and ban Zamane Yoga Sigidere and a receipt. We have percent of that profit and the EJ Apple because he has who the owner of the car. The people that Code Soludo has already contracted this business to will make their own money. Then after that, the touts, the Aburos will as well try to make his own. Everybody in his position is demanding for lion share. Lion cheer. That is why you see these people are crying. Increment will be going on, going up. They have to increase the the price. You that will enter these shuttle buses to go to your business, how much are you going to make on that day? <laughs> if you don't plan things well, no matter how you high rate of everything, thing will inflation will be going up until you plan it. Things balance. They therefore appeal to the governor Soludo to protect them from thoughts who terrorize them. Secretary of Anambra State Shuttle Bus Driver Forum, Mr. Akubilo Ifani, told journalists in Oka, the state capital, that despite the ban on illegal tax collection in the state, thoughts still extort money from them everywhere in the state. <laughs> he could not provide any job for them. No rehabilitation center, nothing. Population increases, you don't increase industry, no factory, nothing. Nothing. Even to gather this alboro now, you, you would have indirectly gathered this alboro, put them into vigilante, let them be there to fight insecurity. But they will not pay them because the money they will use to service government the money they will use to service the government, the governance in the state will be high. Some of criminals are there collecting money. So these people will become a nuisance to the state. If I allege that people engaging in the illegal tax collector collection operation and their sponsors in the state are well known to the authorities, yes. Aburo cannot operate without the help of the, some people in government, some well-known echelons. If not, who is the Aburo? If not, who is the Aburo to come and continue to extort money when governor has said go out? But it's a planned deal. It's a planned deal and it will continue in that manner. 
He said, we are suffering from multiple taxation as a result of the operation of Taos in the state. In our nature, the Aboros, the Taos, the Aboro, collect 700 to 3,000 in, in Ifitoka and the same amount at Unizik and um, Ekoka Axis on daily basis. If I expressed sadness about how they pay the state government stipulated levies, adding the payment do not reflect as most of those who have paid the stipulated levies into government account are detained by government tax force team allegedly made up as stout. Even after you have paid the fifteen to thirty thousand naira or twenty-five thousand, which is government money, the Aburo will still hold you to settle them. Is it not a deal? Is it not a deal? Is it not a deal? A lot of things are happening in our land. I listened to a woman that I don't know whether if that thing is comedy, but the woman was serious saying this. Thing. Let me hear it. That Aburo will stop a woman and ask her that she doesn't wear bra. I don't know whether that thing is a joke. I don't know. If somebody send it to me. I go to I watch it and I watch it again. But I see elements of seriousness in what the woman is saying. That Aburo will stop a woman in on it and be asking the woman, you don't wear bra. I say Kezikwe came by Ruguru this level. Came by Ruguru this level. What is happening? These are the things. But to build industry, to build companies, we have billionaires. We have millionaires, build company, they won't. And if they want to, the full that they have made themselves to be their servant will tell them, don't. Don't. Don't try that. If you try that now, that this billionaire you are, I tell you that I'm the one who make you to be oil magnets. <laughs> hey. We are not happy that when our bosses are detained by Aburo or enforcement team, we will be forced to pay again after you have paid. The economy will not grow if people are weak because people have to do the business, run the daily businesses that will make the economy to grow. Economy cannot grow. We are confused about the enforcement team. There are laws of them. Some wear green uniform, <laughs> other wear red. <laughs> we, we don't know the one to follow. Anambra State Internal Revenue Service should help us with the right enforcement team and account to pay into. <laughs> 419 everywhere. Government is aware of all these things. Government is aware of it. They know. Because the government is corrupt. A government that criticizes the, the, the Arboro is now using Arboro to, to collect taxation on daily basis and claim that they, are, they don't know. Do you know in most of the advanced country what the police does if you have not renewed your license, your, your road tax, if you have not renewed it, they will only summon you. There will be roadblock the heavy roadblock when the, the government, uh, uh, the, the, the ministry, the license department will understand uh, that uh, will see that a lot of cars have not been renewed their licenses. What they will do is to pass the information to the police. Then the police, mostly the traffic, they will mount a heavy roadblock. That heavy roadblock is to put fear into people. Then the citizens will know, or even sometimes they will announce it on radios that there will be roadblock regarding so 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 and so 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 it's just psychological they will put people pressure to go some people to go and renew it to go and pay some people not that uh, they don't uh, have the money or they don't want but because of busy schedule and that is why you see the every country is advancing on technology you saw so this time now you don't need to go in some certain countries you don't need to go to the license office and queue on the road on the line and wait for you to renew. What you do, you use your the app on your phone and pay for it. The moment you pay it, you are being renewed. The sticker will come to you later and you put it in front of your car. 
you put it in front of your car. Because the government is useful. They have put the system in order to be working. You don't have electricity. How can we be talking about all those kind of network things? Who to blame? You don't need to blame pastor or imam. Because some of us are foolish. Every day you are pastor, religion. Even as we are criticizing this one, we are open. I I saw a group of people. They say, "How in the in the church?" I say the same church. Or men are like church. After you, you share the human. Face the government. Hmm? Face the government. If you can hit the government hard, all these things we are doing left and right will just disappear. If you hit the government hard, listen, after God in heaven, the next God you are seeing is the government. If you hit the government hard, he knows that he will even pay with his blood. His head will roll if he misbehave. If you derail, he will be very careful. It's only in Africa that these things are not working. It's only in Africa. And that is why you see the level we are. Government, all these tasks way to collect tasks, you have put the structure in, in order. As it's working, you don't need aboros to be collecting mo that money. Everybody will just go and pay it. JJ. And if police catch you on the road, on their ro um, roadblock, they will announce. Because the announcement is to put fear so that people will rush. Then, if, but if the police catch you, they will only summon you again. Let's say something you're supposed to pay $100. Police will summon you another hundred dollars, become two hundred dollars. And as a civil servant, you wouldn't like to lose that kind of money. So you act time is either maybe your break time, your whatever, your whatever you go, or send somebody to help you to pay it off. This time now you can pay through your through your bank account because the government fixed things in order. The government has put things in order. Africa, let's think. We are blaming our leaders that they are white puppet. We are our own is worst. Our own, in terms of our way of reasoning, is even worse than our political leaders who are puppet to the Western world. And until we rise up and do the needful, and this is the time we're supposed to rise up. Rise up, no mercy. You take a gun, any idiot, a blue issue. That's all. But it's very difficult to accept this. That is why the hard way is the only way. Hard way is the only way. It's not sabotua way. <laughs> you don't need to sabotua. You get 30,000, 100,000. Where they get 500,000 in account. He ring on call, on Ibo Bank Permanent. Where could the remaining one? I got wogu. He go wogu. He got wogu. He put up with. This is hard. You need to do the needful. According to him, any time they carry passenger for existing park, they are forced to pay huge amount of money as the operators of the park usually claim that the park are not public park. He therefore appealed to governor to provide public park for them and ensure the total eradication of tout in the state. <laughs> Anambra State is in trouble now. Because if you don't find solution, Anambra is a center, is the center in terms of supposed to be the, uh, the, 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 the commercial capital, the commercial capital of Igbo land. Had it been our politicians, our political criminals are serious, it would have become a very big uh, a city pol uh, economically for the eastern region. International airport would be there. Uh, seaport will be there. Things will be booming. Definitely people will come there. But all we have everywhere is criminals. Those who are serving Fulani. They will even have companies outside. They will come back and tell you uh, oh, bang, on the bang, uh, all those rubbish. Do the need for nothing. So, uh, this Aburu now is a, is, a, is a thorn in the flesh to the government. This Aburu is a thorn in the flesh to the government and the government need to do something. If not, the pain will increase. Ah, let's take this news finally. The news headline, the news we have for the day. Gunmen suspected to be terrorists invade 
palace of um, Nigerian monarch kidnap Emir of Guku wife in Nasarawa. Hmm? They are still invading, they are still kidnapping uh, people. Terrorists are still inside Nigeria, whereby Escobar is working hard to go and bomb Nigel because he stole the mandate. The Escobar who stole the mandate that is not his, um, as long as um, Kamara, Kamala Harris has called him, he has no option to do the same thing. He has no option then to do the thing they ask him to do. Who knows the option they will come up with to give them time in Nigel? I don't know. Even some certain statement I have heard from um, from some certain northerners, I, I, I become weak in this uh, Nigel things. I've has, I was even supporting in Pan-African uh, 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 spirit in pan-african spirit but when you hear some st statements coming from the people we see that religion belief system and all those things is uh, in fact it's like from here to the moon they are more concerned because nigel is their own brother is their own religion is this that not on african or whatever no no and the same people can invade us tomorrow now they start killing Igbo people there I tell you, so it makes me to be weak. Africa, we have not even yet ready. See some statements coming out from some certain people, even in their national television. You see that they are more of themselves than in the entire, forgetting that the oil they have been sucking is coming from, and they don't care about those kind of people. But back to what we are saying, uh, Escobar, who want to invade Nigel, in Nigeria today, they are still kidnapping. Boko Haram is still ravaging some certain part of the zoo. And uh, people are being kidnapped and the people are paying ransom. The DSS cannot trace how this money come about. But DSS can trace where IPOB is doing meeting, uh, the IPOB account number, the IPOB um, and IPOB uh, phone number and all those things. You see? And this thing, if it continues to go on, how can we progress? How can we progress? The Nasrawa State Command of the Nigerian Police Force has confirmed the invasion of the Emir of Guku's palace in Nasrawa State by suspected terrorists who kidnapped the traditional ruler Jubril Mohammed and his wife on Sunday evening. This was stated in a press statement released by the police spokesman in the state, DSP Rama Nansel, who said the criminals invaded the palace of Amiam, located 10 kilometers away from the main town of Guruk in the Kura local government area of the state. Nansel stated that after getting the information, the state commissioner of police, Baba Miyaki, dispatch a joint team of the agent to the area of coordinate to area to coordinate the vigilante Nansel Nansel went on to say that the nearby shrub and mountains has been searched but all efforts to find the abductee had been futile <laughs> inside Nigeria Nigeria cannot find it inside Nigeria uh, game, game, game. They are just playing game. He said that the commissioner of police has also sent more officers from the tactical team, the anti-kidnapping unit, and the Karu area command to assist in such. According to him, attempts are being made to save the emir and his wife unharmed. The statement added that the police are determined to rescue them and they combat the surge in the states. This one is just grammar. Nothing, nothing much. It's just grammar. They use grammar to to weaken the mind of a gullible who believe in Nigeria. That is it. They are still kidnapping people. These terrorists are with us. But um, they will not let an IPOP person, Brits, 
<laughs> if I will use the words of Escobar. They will not let us breed. My message for you is that Nigeria will never be good. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Nigeria will never be good. And it's been programmed by those who are enjoying Nigeria. It's been programmed. So as it's been programmed, you cannot fight unless you come to us for wisdom. If you come to us for wisdom, then you can be able to change your mindset. Because before you fight, you must change your mindset to fight. Nigeria will never be good again. It was structured to be like this. Internal problem will be the internal crisis, hardship, everything until the Western suck dry whatever resources we have. Nigeria cannot come together to fight the West. It's not possible. It's not possible. So the message is don't waste your time. Nigeria will never be good again. Very, very important. We will be right back in a moment and uh, we'll bring you some tools, analyze it in Hausa language, and uh, then our lines will be open. Then you can call in and as well give your own submission. Okay, wait, don't go anywhere. What I'm about to tell you is what probably you have not been told anywhere. Get a pen and a paper and write it down. This will tell you who we were, who we became, and who we are before the white men came, and after they left, and who we remain. This will tell you why indirect rule flourished in the north and in the southwest and failed in the southeast. This will tell you our origin. Listen, pay attention. In the early 19th century, the Fulanese conquered Habe, who can call the Hausa state. They were conquered through jihad. The jihad could be seen as a religious and a political jihad. It was led by a man called Uthman Danfodio. Uthman Danfodio established another outstanding political system of government and established the Sokoto Caliphate. Each of the caliphates were created and emirates. Each of the Emirates were headed by an Emir. The Emir were selected and appointed. Listen, the Emirs owe allegiance to Uthman Danfodu and two of his representatives at Wandu and Sokoto Caliphate. Listen, the Emir was in charge of making sure that there is rule and order, of making sure there is peace in the community. The Emir paid attention and respected our own allegiance to Danfodu and two of his representatives at Sokoto and Wandu. Listen, pay attention. This is a linchpin information. Write it down. The people saw the Emir as someone who had a divine right to govern. What does that imply? It connotes that when the Emir say come, you come. You say go, you go. You don't question. So now, the Aousas and the Fulani pre-colonial days were very, very centralized political system of government. People were in kind of positions. You had the Waziri. The Waziri was the head of the official. You had the Galadima. He was the head of the capital. You had the Madawaki. He was the commander of the army. You had the Dogari, the head of the police. You had the Maji, the treasury officer. You had the psychic ruler, the head of the fishing place. You had the striking father. He was the head of the palace workers. And you have the striking power. He was the head of the butchers, which can be called the head of the abattoir today. So you don't kill your animals if you don't meet the striking father. You don't go to the army if you don't see the Madawaki. You don't go to the police if you don't see the Dogari. People were in channel positions as well as the Waziris. You understand? Now, the people were paying taxation before the white men came. They were paying taxes, okay, to the authorities that were in East to State at that point in time. So when Lord Lugard came in 1900 through the Niger Lawyer Company, all right, he saw that the people were centralized. He saw what was similar to what he had in Britain. So no need of telling the people to pay taxation. What does he do? It is now time for him to use indirect rule. So he holds the Emir responsible. The Emir holds the people accountable. So indirect rule flourished in the north. Lord Lugard enjoyed himself in the north. So when he came to the southwest, he saw something similar. What was the political administration of the of 
of the Yoruba Picronia days. The highest empire then in the Yoruba Picronia days was the Oyo Empire. The Oyo Empire was so powerful that it had influence. It had influence in Dahomey, the present day Republic of Benin. And that was what they tried to depict in Human King. Okay, now, how was the political leadership of the Fulani Picronia days? The, 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 the Yoruba Picronia days, sorry. The Yoruba Picronia days, they are laughing was there. Jama ha salam malaykum ina kwa nanku ina gijie Jama munche ina kwa ni ina gijie na wuni aisa wode loko chiba daba ni kuma alla ne eyi tadikan gang Domun e dinge nuna maka weshini alla kuma kei ke dinge jisurung alla Kwe ni loko chiba muna tambe pu kuna jisurung alla So wode shini da muangmu a Afrika Bama jinsurung alla kodea Bama bingaskea Bama binga sikia san san san. Wene ze pito de ze che yana binga sikia ama baya bin. Da mwa mu ay mu ne de kem mu mu ke kawoshi. Keri ya ya chika pa kim mu. Yaka geni mu tu mze pito yana gya maka keri ya. Keri ya seni. Kuma keri de kenka kasen keri ya ike fada. Ama ze chika ba yin. Mewe hada shi de turinchi. Kasen wa nang iyarin turinchi. Ay shi ne epi yana de kewo padang keri ya. Ia rin turunci, walahi iden kana so kapada keria, kawai, kapara buga ia rin turunci, so bodo wanang ia rin, ai ia rin keria ne, walahi. Za ia hagia maka mwanam magana, de, 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 da, da, da turunci, ke de keng kakasen keria ne ana padain. Menene magana de tayo, walahi wanang kasan nanjeri ya bare di kawo bain. Kasan nanjiri ba abundi zi sata e ikewo. Wallahi. Tinde anki yin abundi e kamata. Gaskiyang anki ta gabadaya. Anki gaskiyang kwata kwata. Adena ana nufi. Ana jera. Abu zi ikewo ba. Ana sa zuchi ya. Gobe jibi shakara mezuwa. Aydekan sikari ya ni. Duba. Charida dena karanta anangi. Labani dena karanta. Mutum alegis. Shi de ya tashi kowa. Ya sa kansa chiki nruwa kowa. Doming e mutu. Menene iki sa mutum. Ekashe kansa iru wanang abang. Mba we. Mba we wahala ba. A chiki ngeri. Abu buwa ya takura mushi. Abu buwa ni ya takura mushi. To shi ya sa ni. Na pada kowe ni loku chi. Na pada kuwe ni loko chi. Ideng ana jera wanda ngovenenti. Kuwe ni ngovenenti zezo. Echara. Olay amanta adeshi. Sobo de abunde ze sa. Geri yana de kewo. Zeka geni abunde geri ki yi. Wanda ng ekonomi. Magana ng ekonomi. Ana pada kuwe ni loko chana che. Ekonomi. Ekonomi ajara. Ekonomi. Idemba kada industries. Idemba kada company. Company uyo yi. Acha geri. Inde kana pito de kaya ki. Kaya kin de kaka mpani de shi number one. Shi ne nafuruku. Ya kamata che de kaya kin de kaka mpani de shi. Kene me pito de shi. Kene me yita. Nabiu kuma. Bayam wanang wende kaka mpani de shi. Kuma kagama aikin ka akompono yu yinka. Zaka ea ka keka sa weje. Iri wanang abombiu ni. Shi ne ze tama koma abonde anagia maka. A chikin kriya nde kena ji a radio de television. Kuwe ni loko che economy economy. Duba a chikin Nigeria. Weni company ni. Ana jara. A che maka gashi wanang ideng angama wana. Za samu kaza kaza. Babo. Hari yanzu. Duk abubwa nde muke kashi. Muka mpani di shi. Muna kawoshi deka kasa woje. Sede mai kowe ana sarwa asa mukudi. Mai kowe ana sarwa asa mukudi ya ni. Yama. Hero wana abang Shine mutu mze epito Yana gya maka yana pada keri ya Gaka idu ide idu Yana gya maka we ka Akura kadang Anjima kadang abu Zeka tambe dege nane abang ze ikeo To Da achewa Bada mwa ageri yae Hero wana abu ba yae Abu geri yae Abu nang haka Abu yae sada haka Zache kuwa kamantala kawa, kashigu jeji, kashigu kuwe, kajikuwe nkakowe kazuna, kana wuna, 
ka gode Allah dik abubuwa ne gonan ka fito ka gode Allah Allah zai iya taimake ka akan wannan abun ai shine abun da talakawa zai iya yi to yanzu kai wanda kaka saurare ni zaka iya koma koyin koyin ku yanzu zaka iya koma koyin ku balanta a ce ka shigo jeje ka shigo gona koyin ku dai inda aka yi feka zaka iya koma ta yanzu idan ka je wajen za kashe kai ko zai sata ka ka zo kuma ka biya wannan sukuri abun da ike faruwa yi to irin wannan bin ne yana faru ko wani lokacin mutum zai fito a television a radio a ce maka ana minister ana kaza ka kaza za char duk kariya ne duk kariya ne ni dan na giya mana baka shaura ka shira damuwa wanda zai zuwa yi saboda ba wani abun da ana sa a kasa irin kompano yoyi da za a fito a ce idan aka gama ginin wannan ga wannan an gini an gini abu zai wannan damuwa zai e rege babu ko da yayi babu sai dai a sata kuri a ku a tafi kuma government wanda yake ciki yanzu government wanda muke amfani da shi yanzu government in escoba government in escoba ai shi corrupt government ne ai me yasa ana fada wannan da a ce a takace hannun sa yana da kyau shi bai sa hannun a cikin satan kudin Nigeria abin da ya kamata da zai ce daga EFCC da rige DSS zai sa mutum mai kirki a wajen za a fara kaka ma wannan mutane wanda suke satan kudin Nigeria da governor noyi da sauran su da minister har ma Muhammadu ku Buhari har Buhari a kama shi a kama shi a kama kowa da kowa a tabbatar an samu kudin wanda dukan su sun sata irin wannan abun shine abun da government zai iya yi amma babu ai shi ba zai iya yi ba to idan irin wannan abun ana cin gaba da shi ana tafiya da shi a zo kuma ana giya maka wai abu zai yi kyau zai jara kaman ta da su kawai kaman ta da su kawai da ce shi yana fighting corruption yanzu yana ta kaka ma wannan sun mutane za ce to akwai gobe duk wannan abubuwa babu ko daya sai dai kawai zo na wajen a jira irin damuwa wanda za samu gobe lokacin buhari ai kashe wan mutane kawai ana kashe ana ana dokun aron kudi ana doka doka aron kudi ba wani kasa wanda ba mu je ba mu dokun aron kudi ka ka yau a cikin Najeriya yanzu ka ce mana ga abin da aka samu ga amfani duk kudin da Muhammadu Buhari ya roko ya karbo daga World Bank daga kaza daga nan ga amfanin sa ga kuma irin abin nan amfanin da muke samu a cikin sa babu wannan su an raba da su da yan wan su a House of Assembly masu majalisa shi yasa idan kana Nigeria ka dinga shira lokacin mutuwanka wallahi ka dinga shira kawai me waka ba kanka date yau ne August yau um um abin nan muna wata takwas yau um ranan um tara a wannan a wannan wata August sai ka ba kanka date lokacin da zaka mutu kawai na ga maka gaskiya ka san magana da ina zan fito ga maka gaskiya ba wai ana ta koye 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 abu mutum ya fito ana giya maka ana baka shi hope wai kai abu zai yi ko ka jira ka dan kai kuma ka yi da a cikin Najeriya ka tona ka yi tunani dai daga nane abun zai kyau daga Muhammadu Buhari ko waya murna an ce za a jara ya gama shekara takwas din sa abu ya zuma worst ga mu kuma mun shigo wannan wannan yana shigowa kawai abu ya <laughs> abu ya, ya, ya daga sama inda buhari kamar inda shi ma ya fada wai shi zai fara inda buhari ya, ya, ya siya ni dai ina gan muku idan ba abu idan ba a yi abin da ya kamata a yi menene wannan abun da ya kamata a yi idan ba a fara ana nima 
when the swing you milk in Nigeria, a kama so a che in now put him mu. Idemba a yuan namba, idemba a araba Nigeria bani, idemba a restructuring Nigeria ba, or like kumanta. Damwa, damwa Niger mazi ze zona kamu. Damwa Africa ze zona kamu. So wode mu za mu dinga yi, pada de kamu, domu mu rike abun de bare ba mu wene ampani ba yi. So wode mu na pada wan Nigeria, wan Nigeria, bare tapo ba mu ko ampani da ya. Wallahi. Sede lo kuchin de zamu taash mu bing wan nanga skeng. Ay lo kuchin nezi mu de yi, damu para gene haske. Mba haka ba, kwa man ta de shikowe. Jama, shine magana nde, shawara nde muke kawa muku yo. Denkana de kuni neka ji, kumaka idade mu, Nigeria, baraita kwa ikiwa uba. Nigeria, baraita kwa ikiwa uba. Wallahi. Anangi za muka woshi de karishi. Denkana de magana haka kriya mu, plus 1-8-3-2-6-3-7-3-4-9-9. Kwa deke kasame mu, a plus 6-1-4-8-1-8-7-0-9-2-5. Do wana lamba nde kakriya zeka sasame mu, ilengi akwe magana. Kumaza ayi magana. Munka wana magana akarishena she muku. Hasalam alaikum. Alright, and then you had the 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 the, the seven hereditary kingmakers who had called the Oyo Messis, and you had the 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 Ora Onakakam for the head of the army, and then you had the the the, the confraternity. So the Yoruba Pekona date was also politically centralized because they were checks and balance. The Oyo Messi check made the exercises of the of the Alafin, and the Ogbeni confraternity check made the exercises of the Oyo Messis. So it was centralized. So the people were paying tribute to their laughing. History claimed that their laughing was seen only once in a year. Okay, so you see, Lord Lugard also enjoyed himself in the West. So let's go to the Igbo Pre-Colonial days. The Igbo Pre-Colonial administration was never centralized. It was a regimented political system of government, meaning that power and authority was shared among the people. All right? The Igbo society was called an Akifedio society, meaning that there was what was called a direct democracy. The Igbos participated in direct democracy. The people participated in the government themselves. That's why the Igbos pride that they are the ones that taught the world democracy and not the Greeks. And if you check well, there's an element of truth in it. Now listen, let me tell you something. The head of the Igbo Pekonides was the Opera. The Opera. Now you had the offer title holders and also title holders. You had the 8th grade, which were like the army. And you had the Umwada. The Igbos had always given voice to women. So don't mind anybody saying the Igbos don't respect women. And now listen. Listen. Each family had an or four title holders. Each of family have a four title holders. The oldest of that of four title holders is who becomes the opera. Your four title holders place of the council of elders. The oldest of them becomes the opera. Now the opera preside over the meeting in the council, but the opera cannot tell them what to do. He can't tell them what to do. So when Lord Lugard came, he thought it was like a free ride in the north or in the southwest. So when he held the opera responsible, the opera called the people and said, Hey, you are going to be paying tax. The Igbo said, No, we can't pay tax. The sun is ours. The water is ours. Why can't we pay to a white man? All right. And now Lord Lugard was so terrified and he said, Why come these people do not respect their leaders? How come these people have a mind of their own? Okay, so the Igbos participated directly in government. So, indirect rule never worked in the southeast. It never worked because they, unlike northerners, did not see their leader as someone who had a divine right to govern. They saw him as a man themselves, someone who can be influenced, someone who can change their mind. How was laws made in the Igbo Pekonia days? The Council of Elders can make laws. The eighth grade can also make law, and the Council of Elders will accept it. So far, it within the frame of the core transition of the people. Do you understand? So now, the Lugar could not enjoy themselves. That is why about women riots still remain one of the highest riots in West Africa. Because these people were able to revolt. And that was why the white men never liked them. They never enjoyed them. Because these people dared to say, no. We will not 
be subdued. Listen, I am not trying to present any ethnic group to be more superior or inferior to another. I am telling you what was factual and how it was before. All right, so we must tell ourselves that we are not one people in this country. We are different people. That's why we try to promote unity in diversity because we are different nations. We are micro nations trying to create a mega nation. Okay, because the Igbo is a nation, the Alpha Fulani is a nation, the Yoruba is a nation. So we must tell ourselves the truth that we are different people. Only then that we can create the consciousness of tolerating one another. Yes, we must tell ourselves the truth that we are different people. Alright, only then we can tolerate one another because for a man to be an angel, he must first recognize the fact that he's a demon. Alright, so know who you are. Let no one deceive you, Africa, Nigeria. Wisdom have now been pushed to the fringes talking about and believing and espousing the belief that Nigeria truly should be one. Come, we need to begin by resolving a conceptual crisis. What do I mean by a conceptual crisis? Quite often, when we speak about Nigeria, we collapse the distinction between country, state, and nation. We tend to think that the three mean the same. We tend to think the three are synonyms. A country is a territory. From the Latin contra terra, the land that lies ahead of you, a country is a territory. It is not necessarily a nation. A nation is an association of peoples and I use that word in the plural deliberately because of diversity. A nation is an association of peoples who identify their shared core values. And on the basis of their shared core values, they give themselves a constitution which will now establish institutions that make up the state. What we have in Nigeria and in most African countries is a confusion where we think the nation is the state. The nation is reduced to the state. We have a country quite all right by the fact that we live within a territory, even if that territory is not secure, as we all know. But we don't have a nation. We have institutions that make up the state. We collapse the nation into the state. If you look at our constitution, section 2 of the current constitution, and you don't find this in the 1963 constitution, it ascribes sovereignty not to the people but to the state. That is dangerous. That means the state has the last say on any question. That means the state is more powerful than the citizen. That is a recipe for impunity. Because as we all know, the state is the head of state, or the governor, or whoever represents them. Whatever they say, we all have to comply, Hi. whether they're right or wrong. So we don't have a democracy in the true sense of the word. Oh my God. And until we have that, until we build a nation, we can't even talk of unfinished greatness. Hmm. And I have to make a critique of the title of Governor Fayemi's book. It presupposes that there is a project that is unfinished. I am saying we have not even started the project. Oh my God. And we, we need to stop deluding ourselves. What are our shared core values? What are the things that bring us together, apart from the super eagles? <laughs> You know, when I had this experience, 2013, I was visiting a place called Du in Plateau State. The Plateau State governor is here. I got to Du the Friday before the Nations Cup final between Nigeria and uh, Burkina Faso. And there was tension everywhere. But on Sunday night, when Nigeria won the game, the final match, the tension dissipated. Hmm. And most people forget the fact that uh, 
a young man from southeastern Nigeria received the ball from a young man from Pangshin who had to leave Nigeria because his parents were killed. Victor Moses passed the ball to Sondemba. Sondemba scored the goal. And we, we didn't even ask about the local government of origin of the score of the goal. So what are shared core values? If you ask the Americans, they talk of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We don't have one. And it is when we begin to identify our shared core values that we begin to build a nation. What we have right now is a state held together at gunpoint. And when the state, when the state begins to oppress the citizen, there will be cries of marginalization, there will be secessionist and separatist agitation, there will be insecurity. Now we have set up Nigeria to be a place where the state is more powerful than the citizen, and the state is oppressive. We need to retrace our steps. Quite often, Nigerians ask, which is the way forward? And I say, if you are moving in the wrong direction, you shouldn't be going forward. You should make a U-turn. What <laughs> happened? And the honest truth to me is simple. That we can accuse each other. We can point fingers. The question is, who is actually better off? I'm a northerner. I'm from Kano State. And I have been accused by colleagues and brothers in a very civil political discussion of dominating the polity, dominating the economy, and dominating the security. So I ask the question, if I dominate the polity, I have the president. Yes, I have the executive council and appointees that are constitutional, just like every other state. But what is my economic situation? And what is my security situation today? So the question is, is it working for me if I dominate somebody? It's not. The question is, look at all the indices of development. The North today is actually worse off. Security, education, prosperity, development. I don't know. What have you? The North is not very well positioned. In fact, other part of the country that have been pushed off in opposition space have managed to organize themselves into a survival mode and come up with a credible economic and development model. So I will say to you that, look, I think this country needs to be reviewed and I think need to be fairly and equitably structured. I've always advocated for what I call development federalism. Development federalism, in my view, is a consensus by the six regions and Abuja to create a development template over time and devolve power gradually to the regions and to the states. The truth of the matter is, we all need to go back to our states. If all the states are working, the federation will be working. Because development is not in isolation. Everywhere you go is either a local government or the state. So if you devolve power to the local government and to the states, and then create an economic investment template in the form of development federalism, which basically bring the potential of South-South to be an oil and gas hub in Africa. We will stop importing petroleum products. We will stop importing things that we should be exporting. And we will become net exporters of that product. The Southeast, we all know, are very ingenious people with technology, manufacturing, and trading. Please, let us invest heavily. Let us leverage on our resources to and raise the capital to invest heavily in manufacturing so that we don't import things from India. We don't import things from China. We import and we produce these things we need for agriculture and for our transportation and other industrial machinery in the East. It's doable. I've been to Newi. I've been to the industrial hub of Aba. I've seen what the East can do. We will be proud to say, made in Aba, produced in Aba, made in Nigeria. And we will all be proud citizens. And the economy of the East will be a net contributor to the center. The same thing with the Southwest. Southwest dominantly. This is Radio Biafra also service to coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Union Du Maze Namdekano or Hamadike, one of Biafra Landy. Maze Namdekano is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, is the director of Radio Biafra and her television. 
the commander of the armies of Biafran, the greatest man living on this planet Earth. Right now, lines are open. You can call in plus one eight three two six three seven three four nine nine plus one eight three two six three seven three four nine nine plus one eight three two six three seven three four nine nine also can get us plus six one four eight one eight seven zero nine two five plus six one four eight one eight seven zero nine two five plus six one four eight one eight seven zero nine two five also on skype you can get us with the name Machineke. right here yeah. with me now is my oh. dear brother mazi obdk ik from libre uh libreville gabon mazi can you hear me Mazi Obidike, can you hear me? Good morning, Machine. Good morning, Mazi. Can you hear me? Ganiru, Ganiru, Ganiru. I can hear you. God bless you. Bless your family. Thank you for your allies. Mazu BDK, your network is not good. I can't hear you. It's cutting. Mazu BDK, can you hear me? I don't think we we'll continue with Mazi Obidike Ikechuku Mazi Obidike Ikechuku from Libreville, Gabon, having a network issue, but he has something to say. Mazi, I think the best thing is for you to drop the call and call again. Um, before then, you check your network. Maybe your data is very low. I think. So I know you have something to say. Exactly, exactly. You just check your network, then you can call back. Uh, provided we're still here. There is it. No hope in Nigeria. We are saying it very clear. And nothing good will ever come. Don't waste your time. Uh, hoping on Nigeria and don't let anyone deceive you don't let anyone deceive you nothing good will ever come out of the zoological republic of Nigeria presently they know what to do to fix the country to work perfectly but they will not do it because they are evil they are very very evil people they are enjoying with their white supremacy your pain they are enjoying your pain your sweat they are enjoying it. The more you suffer, the more you die, the more their money increases. The more you trek across Sahara Desert, the more you drown on Atlantic Ocean, the more of all these things, the more they make their money. So we must know that. So the only option is all I've been telling you is revolution. The bloodly one face the politicians bring them down by the time one or two is down anyone aspiring to be in that position will change that is it the same thing we are going to do with our evil political criminals most especially those i was just pondering upon this last night you killed you 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 contributed you contributed in a okay i'll be back let's take this marzi charles vincent marzi charles vincent can you hear me yeah can I hear you marzi good morning you're welcome you're welcome yeah marzi i just want to keep in um, a little bit of what you said today um 
You know this um this crew about the about the East and Niger people. If you watch what is happening now, you will know that there is nothing concerning democracy in Africa from the beginning of this white man colonization. How will the people telling you that they don't want this man? The people who have lately, everybody is rejoicing that they don't want this, and you are now imposing the same person on them. Just the way they impose this 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 theater as Nigerian presidents now. This thing is just uh, I'm just watching the scenario. I don't even want, I don't understand. What is democracy? Democracy is what we want. And now we say we don't want. And now you are forcing them on you are forcing the same person by force, even with, with military power. I don't just understand this meaning of the this democracy of the is now making me very, 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 very confusing. Whether it is military or democracy, I don't understand. How will I say I don't want this thing? You come to my own house. The same thing happened happened because I was watching a documentary yesterday about the BFR war. The same the same mindset we had when we were growing up about Ujuku cause the war. Mazi, what is happening? Your line just dropped. I, but my, I'm, I'm streaming out live. It's not my network. I think it should be your network. It should be your network. Just check your, check your data very well. Hello, Mazi, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me, Mazi? Hello, I'm watching you. I can hear you. Good morning, Mazi. All right. Can I hear you? Too? Go ahead, go ahead. I can, I can. Mazi, good morning. God bless you. I love your analysis this morning. The what you say is just exactly what is. If that thing doesn't done, cut off the one, we take one, one of, uh, politicians and do the example so that others will learn. Why they are doing all these things is because anyone that finishes his own, he relax, he, another person will go and start from them. I wonder what that man that said that a solution is solution. I wonder what will be ringing in his mind this time. That what his solution do is doing. Uh, 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 putting people in, in very hardship more and more. That is, by the way, Mazi, please permit you to announce our meeting that will be coming up tomorrow. Because tomorrow will be maybe our last meeting for this month because this time, these people here, they have their, their election, they will have their election, so they suspend, they will suspend all the meeting, any, every meeting from 11th of this month, which is tomorrow. So let's, uh, I'm appealing to our uh, people to endeavor to come meeting today. Let's discuss how the way for, forward and the other one is uh this um so-called uh governor of him although he didn't touch it governor of him will he, he, he say that uh gives on land to flannies what what was used of canada in now on long panther we are fighting to break it down he wants to renew another one for him to say, putting us in the danger way, inviting our enemy to our our parlor, in our parlor, not even our our backyard, in our, in our parlor. But all these things, all these things will be okay. When once Biafra comes, we know that they, they, they have no hope in, the, in Biafra land. Because the police police police. they know that Fulani is they know. They are just trying because this OKBK. They are forcing this this is agreement that OKBK made before they give him this uh, spring court give him that uh, that seat. But uh, this one this time around, 
he will not live to see what he will saw. All the politicians in our in this Biafra land, they will suffer it. Because when we are when we rise, we are just exercising present and now the, the, our present is uh, is running running out because holding our leader without any any charge. The court have discharged our leader. They don't want to release him. They want to know what we can do. We are just keeping quiet, not that we are, we don't know what to do, but because our leader is still in, we can't do anything now. But when we was, when we start now, the war will not say that we didn't we didn't try. We have tried in two years and day without to charge the court have let him go. This side and acquitted. They are still he him there. Which they, they don't obey their their, their, their law. Now they want to go and uh, to Niger and, and, and the fight. Let, let's see what how they can do it. Jagaban, he, he, he not even sit well. He have not sit well on that seat because he didn't win the election. Mas, they let me give away so that others will contribute. God bless you. Bless the radio pre all the radio presenters. Mas, eh? remember us, sir. Thank you very much, Mazi Obidike. Thank you very much. In case you are from the family unit, they are having their final meeting for the month. So you must be in that meeting. Very, very important. Thank you very much, Mazi Kechuku Obidike. And keep on the good work. Thank you. Thank you. So that is it. Uh, who again is hanging on the line? Uh, let me check. My I can hear you loud and clear. My coming out clear. I thought I'm not watching it. I better get on my. I said, okay, I'm not all your friends all over the world. Ah, good. Let's see. All over the world, or at all, no matter what we are facing, yeah, we have a plan. We are, we are, we are, we are feeling the heat so hard. Everybody is confessing, but nevertheless, we must win. I know that that class of my hands be after. I will ask that to go to that people and we keep on stressing everybody, both the DOS, those who are piloting their affair, the leadership of this struggle, I will be indigenous people of Biafra. I pray that. Unstoppable. 
Thank you for that. We must continue and we are not going to relent. Only our reaction is what will stop the nonsense. Our reaction will change the way our people reason. If not, it will continue. So if you allow evil there, at a certain time, people will take it as part of norms. Uh, let me bring in Mazi Ejike. Mazi Ejike, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. Watching again. You're welcome, brother. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon over here. Uh, watching again. I, I just want to come this evening. I saw what they are doing and what they are saying. We go to the meeting the chief of army staff. The chief of army staff promising to bring sanity and to bring peace in our place. I want you to let the chief of army staff to know that all of them know what is going on in our place. That hope also them ma, they know him. Hope also them ma. The chairman of uh, APC Governors Forum with China Sawaneri, they are the insecurity in our place. We don't need to tell the chief of army staff, or go to they don't need to, he has done a lot and he's still doing. For him to go there with some carcass to go and tell them, which these people has known, did they need person from the House of Representatives to come and tell them? everything that are happening in Imo State and the Biafra land before they can stand up and go and do the needful. If these things are not their plan, coming in television to promise that you will bring sanity, where you fix your men, each time, each time, each time post, your men are there, collecting money, collecting money, burning people houses, burning people houses, is for you to retrieve your people out from our place. We know how to hold our place. We know who is who. Not to bring strangers. People from Niger. They are the ones that are 85% of Nigerian, Nigerian soldiers. Nigerians. They are 85% of Nigerian soldiers. In our own place. Raping our children. Raping our mothers and aunties. So there is no way you will bring sanity there with military. Military never brings sanity. In anywhere. In any place in this world. They never bring sanity. So for you to come up and tell us about sanity that you will make everywhere to cool. Things you have never done in Sambisa Forest. Is that what you want to come and do in, in a beautiful place? Where military out. This is another style that they want to take in deploy military back to our place. That they will fool everywhere in our own streets. Coming for the revenue that the Abro people are collecting. See what these people are doing. During the election, as a Bakewa is there, he has those that those that are killing people for him. They are the people that will live street by street, local government by local government, pit by pit, for them to be selling those tickets. Some governors will give their girlfriend, their girlfriend will sell that slot out to somebody that they will call their chairman. Before you will know, they will have more than 15 to 10 different groups of Aburu. You will buy you will you will buy ticket of chairman. You will buy ticket of vice chairman. You will buy ticket of chairman B, chairman C before the end of the day. You don't buy more than three thousand, four thousand tickets. Naira. By then, how much left with you? So all these governors they know they protect all those people for their second tenor. Those that are doing the dirty jobs for them, they are the people they give the slot to be doing those selling those tickets and the abro job. That is what they are doing. They know what they are supposed to do. All of them, most of them live in abroad. Most of them know how they collect these tickets in abroad. In 80s, before you, in 80s, they will announce in that Nigeria. VIA will we announce, put your particulars in order. Your transgator, your spare, your, your, your spare tire, your triangle, your wish spanner. Two wish notes Nigerian VIA will used to give before. In 80s, before they will come out in the road, start holding vehicles. Today, what is happening? We have that force everywhere. Still, we don't have good roads. These people are all fake. They have failed. They should go and go and what happened in Ghana is what's supposed to happen. Lock all of them in one place and bomb them. 
You are not for us. I stop here so far. God bless you, sir. Watch United. You are not for us. Thank you very now, much. Thank you. And keep Thank it you. up. Uh, let me bring this person. Uh, the prophet, can you hear me? Yes. Why to go to Kadiama? Can you hear me, sir? Loud and clear. Why to go to Kadiama? 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 How hope I'm working more on your manager because Jehovah, like in it, man. I had it to you. Oh, I can look. Why I can look to go to God, my mother. Oh, why? Oh, why? I can't even know. So come in, man. One man with the courage. Let's say, majority. That the man becoming with the good. And what you make? We are the majority. I pay it. Total for me, baby. They start to the world is free, not only Africa, because even America is in pain. They can't live on their own. That's check. Oh, what you like, I'm not going to say that Americans cannot live on their own, just like a little child. They are want to live by the misery of a human being, a human being of that. What a shame. They brought all manner of institutions to occupy our brain and make us stupid. Proverb chapter 8, then the chick is busy. And the same proverb chapter 9, in praise of wisdom. And the wisdom and stupidity. Verse 32, verse 33 and verse 36 underline. Proverb chapter 8. Those who find me find the light. And the Lord will be pleased with them. Those who do not find me love themselves. And anyone who hates me loves death. If you love them, they not become a love life. If you love them, they not become a Oh, that is why you people are being butchered like that. First Samuel chapter 17, then the chicken is in from verse 1 to 8. Psalm 45, Psalm 46, and Psalm verse 47 and the line. You have to challenge this is real life. Although the question is that the glory of Put all his power by the authority of their own God, and David is just a stone, and the child will die. Who did it? They create himself. Who did it? Who did it? The God that brought us down is not on this earth, no other human being. We are before, and we are here now. And after we have not gone, that we never not know with the people like us. That does not become a beginning and the end of the world. You know, tell us that I release our leader now. Oh, no. I don't let it into bringing oppression, crush, and this and that. Any blessed in just the land they are. Now, Allah, the land they are going to go. I let it out. I have given you a class to come on. Let me go back. I don't tell them because I will scratch it. I let it out. I can't get it. Oppression, oppression, that's one. Kill your people. Oppression, don't eat your tongue. Kill yourself, girl. I know what is God right here. I know you can see what's happening to me. Oh, the boy. I want to call you out. No, can you? I call you to show me, sir. So that you don't know what I know about oppression. Then I'm not because I don't want to go. Don't tell them that you just want to go to bring your leader out. Forget about this. It's a problem. It doesn't cause a lot. We have to tell you people that they're not because of this. They don't call me to progress to the development. They don't get that. I'm not sure about that. I don't want to come out of my house. No problem. I have a lot of people out there. They're my camera. No, 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 no. I don't want to come out of my house. No, 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 no. I don't want to come out of my house. I don't want to come out of my house. I don't want to come out of my house. I don't want to come out of my house. I don't want to come out of my house. I don't want to come out of my house. I don't want to come out of my house. So you might tell us to take our land. Our land has sent our land. You might tell us to take it. To go and keep our money in our pocket. Don't tell us. Don't let us go. Don't tell us. 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 I'm not going to come to the people that you've got to touch. I don't know. Okay.
can you hear me? Yes, Martin Echo, to talk to you. Devo. Devo, Martin Echo, good morning to Bia France, IPOB family. And our great leader, His Excellency Mazen and Kukano. Salute you from here. Uh, watching like, let me just say, uh, my name is Desmond and I'm calling from Italy. Let me go straight to the um, area of um, the Abro issue in Anambra State. Of course, it's like that. And even in, you know, in Aba, it was just like that also. But then when this guy, when Ali Soti came in, he's trying to do some work, you know, trying to reshuffle some things, which we pray that it goes successfully because, you know, this thing, uh, sometimes this thing are root, deep rooted in the government. You know, uh, if you remember some time ago when Mazichina Sanguru made a broker, he was talking about one particular um, guy, the the homeland security, the head of the Omas in, in Saludo's government that is called the Bakiba. You know, his criminality and all those things in the state. You know, you know when Saludo came in, this guy has been working with Obiano. And when Saludo also came in, he retained him and now made him the homeland the security or whatever thing. And he's the person that has grouped most of the boys in Anambra. Some he worked with them in the government house, some he worked with them. That's why these people they are confused. Nobody knows. Uh, you see different uniform here and there and all those things there. So these are the cause of all these things in Anambra, in Anambra State. It's not that the problem is not known. It's just that it is with the government. The government is the cause of the problem. So Sunudo lacks the capability to reshuffle his government and root, root out some of these corrupt elements that are in his government. And that has made him, he doesn't know what to do. He's so confused and a lot of criminalities is going on in Anambra State. You know, and if something is not done, if the issue is not being solved from the government level, then automatically it can never ever stop. Because stopping them in the street cannot is it, once it's, it's just like maybe a tree when you cut off a branch, and that branch will grow. Even the branch you cut off will still grow again. When you don't uproot the tree, it cannot grow. So this thing is a governmental problem. It is the government of Anambra State that has failed to do, it. and this is this is something that is uh, making waves in Nigeria: corruption, destruction, and all those things. Then, so our people must understand that this thing is a government problem. It is not an issue that um, is easy to come by because it is deputed in the government. And these people are there. You see what they did sometime. After we called out this guy, he went to one place, say he's looking for this thing. And they try to try to blackmail IPUB or try to um, just do something. I don't I just don't know. There is a serious issue. The fact is that if we are France, if we don't start to question this politician in our land. If there is no mob attack on the politician in the land of Biafra, then we have a very, very long way to go. There must be questioning. People must find way to question these politicians as we question Ike Kuruma in Germany. In Biafra land, it has to start. There must be questioning. They must be held to account and they will be asking them why this, why this, why that. If not so, a lot of things has gone on in our land. But anyway, people should understand that the only solution to this thing is also the restoration of Biafra. There is nothing again. That is why Fulani is capable to come into our land and commit evil. Why? Because there is evil in the land already. The politicians are evil. Even so, don't be surprised that I cannot do this because of the influence of Fulani. Maybe he want to, he want to do it when he come and he announce that he doesn't want to go. Maybe he means it to uh, let us not. Maybe. I don't know, but maybe. But then, the problem is that he himself, as a governor, he cannot do it. 
because it is coming from the caliphate. And those people doing that thing in his government, they are stooges to the caliphate. So you can't stop them now. When you invite them to Abuja, they will, nothing will happen to them. So what are you going to do to them, even as a governor? You might even be afraid to even talk, so that they will not just do one thing to you. So it's a very sad situation. But our people must rise up. We cannot be angry and come and babu and sunny gogo now. But we must prepare very well. So last, anywhere you are, you support ESN financially. Give your financial support to ESN so that our land will be defended. Our mothers will be able to go to farm and come back and life. Our people coming back into the land of Biafra to invest. You can see our leader brought out this program for economic empowerment day every every monday it's not only for people at home even if you're in diaspora and you don't you have money you don't know the business to do you make contact ask people we will give you business ideas on what to do on how to assist our people little 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 you know i say at all at all i'm bad pass you understand now so our people should take opportunities as it's been on food in ipub as our leader bring them out as us announce them we should use them to make our land better. That is why we are. That is why we are. That's why, that's why we can reason. That's why we are human beings. So we should not say it's only those people at home. That is no, 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 no. Even if you are abroad, you can also empower somebody at home. You can do as little as even if it's a poultry farm, even if it's a farm small, even if it's ten chicken. It doesn't, uh, you know, just start from there. There are a lot that, that can be done. So please, our uh, people should look towards this program that is even available by our leader and let us help. Why we continue to support ESN to secure our land, to make the land comfortable for our people to come back and invest. And then we continue to struggle to restore Biafra. Our demand is the unconditional release of our leader as discharged and acquitted and a referendum. Let us face this, um, this our struggle. Let us take it serious and let us be free once and for all. What you said about Niger, you, you say you, the problem is that, you know, in Nigeria, the legion, the northerners, the, the, the full and new people, you know, they destroy the houses with religion. So when you start to talk about pure liberation, they will not want it. Because if the houses are liberated, they, the full and new are in trouble. So those videos, you see, like I saw a video, maybe I don't know if, if it is the video you are referring to, but I saw that video that somebody was talking in aspect of religion. Yes, they, they will always talk, they want to turn everything upside down. But now we are looking at the junta, the military junta in Niger. Let us see what they want to unveil. Let us see what they want to do. You understand? Because their first assignment, if they if they want to really forget all these people are supporting all those things. If they really want to succeed, they must neutralize and disseminate all full and terrorists in Niger. If they don't do it, then automatically the West is going to still get hold of that full and terrorists and use it against them in the future. Just as it's happening in Sudan now. You can see terrorists is fighting with the government in Sudan now. It's still going to happen in Niger in the near future. So what you are telling them is that maybe them they are said they might be for sure want to liberate their people. Why those of the full and need terrorists that are going to Niger to be terrorists in Nigeria, they will be talking all these things, bringing it to religion as well as trying to confuse the houses. You understand now? Because they don't want the houses to be liberated. And that's why I think the other people they should they need to rise up above this their religion issue and get liberated. Religion has nothing to do with your development. Religion cannot read anything for you. It is development. So that is our own question to them. They must rise up. So the Afghans must be more resolute and take our directive from the US by the special grace of Chukwa Biyama. Victory shall be us, ours at the end of the day. Thank you, watching. I can him bless you from here. Ndeo Mazi. Ndeo Mazi. Thank you very much, Mazi Desmond. That is one of the problems in Africa. Thank you. This is why, why, why Gaddafi could not succeed. He couldn't succeed that time when Gaddafi was booming during his time fighting the West. But most of the time, he will narrow it mostly on religion. And the moment you bring that up, the other person will not like you to dominate him. Then expect saboteur and all those things. Or if the brothers in the north will understand, or the 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 problem in Africa will continue. Yes, uh, if you attach it with so much ethnicity and the religion, it will affect others. Let's see ourselves as um, one African nation first before this belief system. I said it before, but most of the time, you, all you see them as if you're. I just want to say. Until they make it turn, if not, uh, let's take this call. Call on the line. Can you hear me? 
Good morning. Was watching okay. Yeah, to to all my dear friends. Oh, it's your boy Reza Latani. Go buzz on Twitter. Oh, it's your boy. It's your boy. Eh, eh, eh. So the one that me. It's your boy. Ah, it's your old Jamba. Man, atakwa. Eh, eh, eh. What you know? Oh, my God. It's your boy. Even somebody. Even yeah. somebody. Ah. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. You know, only reason you know, we should there's no local novel. The orphans, eventually, TN or Total, but now, IPOB is a family we all should be proud of. And I'm not going to come here. I'm not going to come here. I don't believe or I will make me fear about the Afro. With this journey, I'm going to come here. I believe na biafra between water in chani ni tien do ani ya ni abu ku na gwala si ai mu chani dia ai chani ni abu gwala for biafra we all came for this mission is either you count yourself along or you count yourself out mana mala mala in the end. Even in a match, but we must win. Is a must. So walk over and I need to get a car. I need to go to the channel. If you are afraid, if you are not even a chuani, na no stand up. The world can make peace. Europe can make peace, and the West can make peace with their worst enemy. Because of one thing, Biafra. It lasts now your mind. Ndi ibo kita akuni ukuto ubulu no no. Kusi no this. Oh, mazin na de kano gwa na miu kuyo kuna listening to it. Only reason. Onye no ni mena ake no information kali on outside. Make the truth. Kaso mbwa ukuni logi ye gosigi ye na avu ye na nyagi na abo. Or what have you hidden things in our marrow? I heard a lot. Manivama, one in them, Ika Gunu, and I need one in Sinjerebe. Nigel like a while, one more of them, they also like a man. I won't forget him now, Tom, turn out of all the prophecies on you. Guna the battle shall not be fought in our land. I will leave their borders poor us. I will draw them into our land. Ama romu muna kani eche, eche tezi kumu muku ino wangwa lai. Mazi mna mbe kana alocha wawolwe, kwa ya lai no pun. O ni ime kono zina aludi olu. Ano olu wanyi na abi igi ente. The structure, mada a fight na di structure bu IPOB leadership. Uwe li rizin. Mada yu misuse ne. All the opportunities, ayu wele. Di structure ni ime biyenye, eba vya mba, deventi, meve kodi wadege, the enemy is a use when you against you. This structure, but not about our dignity. Not about the fear. So we not in a case. We may end whenever. I mean, we can only answer. We can only give. We will not be can alone alone. That when you know you will go. They can demonize us. They can do all manner of things to us, but they can never kill that ideology. It's written. Are not obvious no more. Whether they like it or not, we are going ahead. We are marching non stop. I will look on the above and give man at this dying minute. My day, Gina, can you really teach him in the new? Well, I'm here. Oh, walk around, no, 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 I observe it. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm happy you are. You have rejoined us back. Yeah. And I fire. Yeah. We won't relent. Yeah. We won't relent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will. They will. That's my Zichio Buefi. I'm happy. I'm happy our brother is out. Exactly. I'm so happy. That is it. These are the things when you see it, it will encourage you. When you see the your, your your comrade, 
it, it gives encouragement more and more to move on, don't relent, and don't be distracted. That is it. This is Radio Biafra as a service to coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Oyendu Mazi Namdekano or Hamadike, one of Biafra Lendi. Mazi Namdekano is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, is the director of Radio Biafra and her television, the commander of the armies of Biafra, and the greatest man living on this planet Earth. Uh, with me here is Mazi, okay, foreign. Mazi, can you hear me? Yeah, my brother, good morning from Poland. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, I don't know why that is the last battle, last miracle on earth. So we are anticipating all of them. Mandeka Gabi Nuru. Yeah, my dear, our leader, Kabo Kawo, Ufonya, Mazin Nandi. Okutuko Kano, that our memory is Oshangu Pinzo, and Oyina Tindizu. And our beloved Lolo, Achalugo. Her Majesty, Uchecho Okutuko Kano, and the keys. Okutuko Kano is their strength. And uh, the head of the director of the men's match, and all his lieutenant that are doing wonderfully well. We will continue to appreciate all of the men and women of the radicals all over the world. Men of valors, this is how we need all of you. Continue fighting. Don't despair. Mike, let me make this free announcement before, maybe if I have anything to say, so I drop. This is from the IPOB European coordinators on a special broadcast today. Today is night. Via I Capitals, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Biafra time. It will be moderated by our European rep, Mazi Austin Aban, and uh, his deputy, Mazi Isa Yoba of Ireland. Uh, Mazi All Women, a national coordinator of Austria, will be there. Mazi KK Ugo will be there. And uh, Mazi Nis, Chief Nis, Mokre of the United Kingdom, all of them will be on this platform this night. We appreciate all of them. And we pray and we hope to hear them speak to us today. Uh, Mazi, uh, there is something about what brother said about Igbo State. I send you the names now, very briefly. This is from Igbo State Media, direct. It's not uh, R3. About a crock, crock, crock. Because I had a cool two CD. Mas if you could remember about 2020, 2021, early 2021, when this whole pose of the man was trying to take a barber in Unquere between one Gene and Amibo to give to Ruga, we started shouting here and away. But now, because the whole pose of the man has used his uh, intimidation in the United States. He's grabbing land properties here and there like was Wazvike. And uh, there's something our brother Chisome Jike from Malaysia said. But he, he couldn't, he refused to include somebody in Manucha and Abiyabia. You see, all those crimes that are happening in the state, this so called justice, according to retired now, he demand with Chinasa one eighty and the whole pose of the man. Ma, did you know that these people are the people that colluded? With your brother, and I started the cobra, and I'm the key because uh, which we have not gotten the cops up to today, and some of my brothers from America who died within that period. One of during those the attack in Olo. I know many of them that died, and we have the records. Now, Hope Uzadima has planned with some essays I'm going to mention now. I send it to after you can take care of that too. The, the, the whole thing is there in your platform now. The village name is Amata. Amata is in our local government, or not. And the, the land, the size of land, land size is more than 100,000 plus of land. And the name of this uh, land area is a family Amata land in our 
and uh, look at the SL that are involved, the people that are involved in this deal. As a John, Ono Ono Kusi, Barista Fudi Ponyeji, Engineer Obi Nanchirim, Mazi Smart Osuji, Kisile Obare Ekocha, Anthony Uzeugu, and Madam Onye Obi, Woman Didao, and Mrs. Chinyana Osuji. These are people that are going up to give our land to Ruga. Just to exactly like what Ojuzo Kalu did, which we will continue to suffer today in Law Banta. So we are encouraging our brothers in Igbo land, the whole of Igbo land, to put their eyes down. And there are numbers that can be called, and I will call the number, both in Kwari land, both HOD lies. We have crime, ESN crime number. I will call all of them now. So our people will continue to call us and tell us what is happening in their areas. Because what they are trying to do, when they fail here, they go here. When they fail here, they go there. So those of you that have hectares of land, like Oma, Go, Tiaha, or you go to all those areas, all those places where we have land, land where we are. Please, you must continue to call our numbers, please. All these numbers, anyone you call you, they will be picked immediately. The HOD, IPOD, slash HOD inquiry lies are plus 614 342 94745. Okay, let me call it one. one. Plus 614 The second number is plus 41 Six nine six eight one. This is HOD inquiry line. IPOB class HOD inquiry line. You call the pick and uh, this is uh, IPOB ESN investigation crime unit. This is for crime. You call this number or you see any book movement. Call the number. Call any of them. The people people will pick it and respond to you. If they don't, you don't pick. You know it's inquiry line. A lot of calls are coming. You drop a voice, a brief voice. Maybe in broken or you do anyone, you can no problem. The number is plus four five nine one four nine eight six seven seven. IPOB ESN cry line. Plus four five nine one four nine eight six seven. Seven. This is the only way we can combat crime in Biafra land. You that is hearing my voice, you must be your own journalist and be your own police now. You have to police our land because they are bringing a lot of a lot of things happening in Biafra land. Mazi, I have to leave it here. Thank you. Thank you very and much. And our brother just called. Our brother just called. I appreciate you. Okay, if you know, I'm family. I'm going to have to have a beloved to have a bad call. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, on that note, we'll bring this broadcast to an end. Thank you very much for being part of our broadcast and continue to tune into Radio Biafra at all time. This is your own radio station. Anything you want it to be, you will do it by yourself. Don't think somebody will come and do it for you. Just as we always preach in this struggle. <laughs> Monagi, you and I will get ready to fight, suffer and die for it. Nobody will come and do it for us. You and I. The same way you will make your things to be good is your own radio station and continue to tune in as you have heard the european uh, family will talk on radio biafra today by 8 p.m biafra land time 8 p.m biafra land time the poster is everywhere headed by the european um rep mazi austin abani so you tune in and learn more 
very, very important. Remain resolute. We must press on. Politicians is one of your enemy. If you are dying with them, no, you are dying with the enemy. If you are following them, you are following your enemy. Able politicians, to be precise, are more dangerous than the felonies we are looking for. Ibo politicians are more deadly than the felonies we are talking about. Yes. Just like uh, you see, Kanan Takano, Emmanuel Khan are more dangerous than the DSS that are holding Mazinam the Khan. Who quote me? The same way Igbo politicians are more dangerous than the Fulanese we are fighting. The same way Kanan Takan, Emmanuel Khan are more dangerous than the DSS that are holding Mazin Namdi Khan. Yes. If if not, tell me the reason why Windu will be there. And uh, they are making progress, making money. Quote me, stand on the truth, brother, at all time. Kronizyuku, rapukeni hien kowa. Makanoi fo wa ne megi jina. Igwe, igraz, igran, igro krafish, igran kata. Hini la afu ijiro kwa ge. Rapukeni umu ifo en kowa. Kronokatene ne ziyuku smo. Ifo ziyuku ikupu ke nenya. Yotago. Hmm. You, you can have the kind, there is a kind of joy that will come into your heart. Ni me moge, me ukuro no ne ziyoku. Inare mwere mada anyofu. E mwere onyine mwere anyofu. Mwere onyine ukuge. Mwere just ukuro no ifu nko oma ukupta ya. Nko ojo me eta onya asya na onye mayan. E ziyoku kani na wage. E dinye na ala na bali. E hiyona. You don't need things to disturb your spirit. Man, one big guy, but we, but we, but we, but imagine you could the other time. A man in Aga, I wept like it is saying he could ever. In Kikuru, and Zuzabron, Kini, outside. He go, he, 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 uh, president will take it to roofing. Uh, local government chairman will take it to plastering. And so, but there is again. You have go. Yeah, 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 everywhere. Man, you quit with that your own. And go on up to ego foundation or ego block with you. No, no, get them bubble or you, bro. You will be very happy. That is life. But when you patch yourself with this one, with this one, you patch ever, you patch ever. Oh yeah, well, if you didn't begin the guy didn't know gara, gara, gara. and the guy would have to take it different colors. Rap can he call one? Fight for the freedom of your people. Have the passion of your own fellow human being. Come to Biafra struggle. Fight for the think of the future. You trek you trek from northern Nigeria to North Africa. Pass through Mediterranean Sea. Thank God you succeeded. Living good. Why not think? See, I will fight to make sure that the unborn generation will not pass through this. That's what makes you human. That is what we are doing in Biafra struggle. That what we have labored. That those ones coming. This innocent child we born everywhere. Yeah. They don't know anything. We are fighting that they will not pass through. All these things scatter everywhere, all over the world. In our work, I talk and we a ridge, diohono, nanibo. Oh, how many will enjoy it? But it's in our land. These are the things God used to bless us. Rather, I might be a man at Houston, Texas. Jeriyejina, magu mihi beli bekranya kuna all those kind of things. Hmm? No, no, no. Let's fight. Brother, sister, let's fight. And make sure that the next generation will come. In the month of August, Nanibo. 
Ronka and a region America, and a region Europe, and a region Asia, and everywhere, and I want no you what I want, I want, so sign you Think of this, and it will give you the strength to press on. Don't think of what you are getting. Don't think it's your hero full again because of thy name, so I send it all. On your hand, is I sir? You change yourself, put yourself in a party, head some rubbish. Yes, I'm telling you, if you are living this kind of life, it will give you joy. You don't have it quite all right, they have everything, but your pride is more prestigious than that their wealth, and they will respect you. They will not bring nonsense to you. They know that you are a no nonsense man. That if this thing passes through your table, that you are going to expose, you speak the truth. As I'm saying this thing now, some scriptures are coming in up to my mind. But let me not go there. Let me just paraphrase it. There was a prophet in the Bible when King Ahab and Jehoshaphat, they were coming together. They want to go to war. There was a prophet. I can't get the specific scripture, but I remember what I'm saying. I have said, no, this man, I don't throw any time. He don't talk good about me. But other prophets were there prophesying good for him. You understand? Maybe you know the story I'm talking about. But that particular prophet, he respected him. He feared him. Because that one don't care with the material thing. Immediately he stand. What the Spirit of God put in his mouth is what he's going to say. Whether it's coming to pass or not coming to pass, or whether you are killing him or you not, know, as long as that spirit, that prophetic spirit in him comes, that is what he's going to say. And he's being respected and being feared by that king. He don't like him. Be like that. Be like example, like Jeremiah. He continued to speak that truth. He got nothing, no house, nothing, but he stand, and he's been respected. These are the kind of life we will be. So they're going to charge, they're going to charge politicians. And you get 30,000, you get 50, you need to You're in a hotel, you're in a hotel, you're rubbish. It doesn't change your life. You have been, dem you have been possessed by demon. That is it. You have been possessed by demon. So demon will put you to live that kind of luxurious life and you don't have the money. Then he will put you into negative things to make that money, to enjoy that kind of life you want to. What will we fed there? But when you allow justice to reign in you, I'm telling you, you can just eat one fruit, one piece of fruit in a day. Halfway jiggy, up your mark baggy. Yes. And you see yourself living healthy. So thank you very much for being part of this broadcast. And may Jehovah Elohim Chukokabiama Ekekerowa. The most high God bless each and every one of us and keep us as we pray. Father, Lord, we thank you for everything. We thank you for the life of your servant our leader Mazin Namdikano. As we continue to pray that you will disgrace those who want to kill him, those who want him to remain in the DSS dungeon. Father, you will destroy them, O Lord. Abba Father, you keep him. Father, we pray for his health, that you will strengthen him, O Lord. Abba Father, to the glory of your name, you protect him, you bring him out, and you will restore Biafra under his watch. As we continue to pray that you are his shepherd, he shall not want. You make him lie down in green pasture, you lease him beside quiet water, you restore his soul. You guide him in path of righteousness for your name's sake. That even though he walks through the valley of shadow of death, he fears no evil. For you are with him, your rod and your staff. There comfort him. You prepare a table before him in the presence of his enemy. You anoint his head with oil. His cup runneth over. For surely your goodness and mercy will follow him all the days of his life. And he will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Father, we pray you bless the Eastern Security Network, strengthen them, use them, O Lord, this time. Father, may their sword be sharper than that of the enemy. Give them the eager eye to see the enemy. Heavenly Father, bless our land to become a, an enmity to the enemy. 
that they will be crushed in our land. O oh Lord. Father, I pray if the war, if invading Nigel is the status that will bring Biafra, O oh Lord, let it be for me not to pray prayer that will uh, support in something that will back, bring us back, Lord. If that is your plan, Lord, forgive me from advocating. I don't hide my own feeling. Because I stand on our interest, Lord. Oh, Lord. Anyhow you plan it, O oh Lord, to our interest, let it be. Even if I have spoken against it, Father, pardon me. To the glory of your name. Bless the DOS, O oh Lord. Shower them with your knowledge, understanding at all times. Immortal Redeemer, Abba Father, bless be our friends all over the world, scattered everywhere, Lord. Bless us, O Lord, with Jehovah. Protect and provide for us, Jehovah Nancy, to the glory of your name. Ancient of ancient, we give you praise. Ancient of ancient, we adore thee. We pray that peace will reign in our land. We pray that Biafra will come and your name will be glorified. Thank you, Ekekeroa. Thank you, Jehovah Nancy. Be thou exalted. Father, we we'll make this prayer in the beautiful name of your beloved son, Yeshua Hamashiach. And I leave you with this word. The Bible said, Sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. Poor, yet making many rich. Having nothing, and yet possessing everything. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 10. Shalom. Boom! Mm -hmm.